Welcome to a Harsh Reality Broadcast on the 18th of July 2021 titled The Great Reset Joining the Dots. My last broadcast was on the 18th of November 2020 and it appears that what I said then is coming to fruition. We are living in dark times and I fear that it is only going to get worse. Little did I know that when I was growing up in the 1960s, it was a golden era, where I felt safe and as a society we were more carefree. Fast forward to 2021 and it is now a much different place, where restrictions are being put in place in the name of COVID-19. As I have mentioned before, COVID-19 is real, it kills but so does the flu. What concerns me is the focus on COVID-19 by the mainstream media, SAGE and the politicians. They have made out that this virus is much worse than it actually is and they have been successful in making the public very frightened. So, why are they constantly focusing on COVID-19. For what it's worth, I think they are doing it because, in their eyes, they have no choice. They see the bigger picture and understand that our lifestyle is unsustainable and that something has to be done. Let's be honest, none of us like facing reality. That's why politicians promise the earth to a fickle public. Since 1971, I, ob I have observed a few major developments that have led us to the position we are facing today. Richard Nixon detached a dollar from the gold standard in 1971 to help pay for the Vietnam War. It was only supposed to be temporary but this effectively was the start of the fiat currency. That is to say, currency backed by nothing, which enabled banks to loan out more money with very little in reserve, thus increasing the fractional reserve ratio. Today, fractional reserve banking is in dire straits because there has been no attempt to rein in the spending. Think about it. Which politician would have been brave enough in the past to try and get the finances on a sustainable footing? It would have meant a reduction of the population's standard of living. Would you vote for it? Also, package holidays took off in the 1970s and the masses were able to travel abroad on a relatively cheap budget. This has put enormous strain on the environment, especially the carbon footprint. Today many families have more than one car and enjoy untold luxury compared to previous generations. I am sorry to say that we have now hit the perfect storm. Too much debt in Western countries and too much pressure placed on the environment. Something has to give. The elite in my eyes are not stupid. Far from it. They, in my opinion, are playing a game of chess and planning very carefully each move. For example, they have allowed political correctness to become a farce. Don't get me wrong, when it was introduced, it was a very good move. For example, there were bigoted people who were very nasty by saying offensive words to others. But like anything else, it got hijacked by interest groups that had their own sinister agenda. It's the same with the woke movement that seems to have a platform that is listened to by the rich elite. I am sure that when there were some genuine people in the woke movement 
that wanted to make a fairer society and not to and not to upset others but again it's been hijacked by the hard left who again have their own sinister agenda they even want to ban sleeping beauty because she is woken up by a prince the kiss is non consensual honestly society is in a very dark place also over the years we have become risk averse and this is beneficial to the rich elite as we would be easier to control with the foundation set it is now the ideal time for the elite to make their move covid 19 was the gift for the process to happen I have done my research and I can assure you that the Great Reset is a plan in motion. The World Economic Forum recognises that our way of life is not sustainable and therefore has a solution. Now then, this is where I am struggling. I know that our lifestyle is not on a sustainable path, but I do not want to go down the route of the Great Reset. Their plan might be admirable and I suspect there is a desire for a fairer society. But as, I've, but as I have mentioned before, the good intentions get hijacked. It's very much like Animal Farm. In principle, the takeover by the animals seem fair, but in reality, a sinister hierarchical system develops. As I have mentioned earlier, we are in a very dark place. Are we heading for a complete collapse? No, I don't think we are. Are we going to have to live with restrictions? Yes, I have no doubt about that and it's going to be very painful for many. As I have mentioned in my previous videos, we have had over the last 60 years unprecedented freedoms and a good standard of living. This will change abruptly. COVID-19 is the Trojan horse to usher in the Great Reset. Am I in favour of the Great Reset? No, I am not. Although it sounds like society will be fairer, it won't be. The World Economic Forum claim that we will own nothing and be happy. No, no, no. I am not falling for that. It's more like we will own nothing, but the elite will be happy. The Great Reset, in my opinion, is based on the Chinese model, where there is an expectation of high compliance with the government's narrative. Just imagine this. Would the Chinese rise up against their government? I very much doubt it, as I believe that there is little opportunity for critical thinking. And in any case, many of the population feel safe. In effect, they have given up their freedoms for security. However, this leaves the population in a very vulnerable place because their government could impose more restrictions and there would be little the population could do about it. Western countries are now at a crossroad. Should we fail to resist the Great Reset by mass civil disobedience? And unfortunately, this will be the only way because governments are pushing through their agenda aggressively. We will succumb to the Great Reset and all the restrictions will be placed upon us. People will ask, what is the alternative to the Great Reset? My answer would be to accept a lower standard of living, accept we will travel less internationally and accept our previous lifestyle was unsustainable. Western governments should also accept that people are able to make their own choices and not subject them to a nanny state. A brave new future can be achieved without the draconian restrictions 
that would emerge from the Great Reset. In conclusion, the future is going to be very different to what we have experienced in the past. However, I fear if we go down the road of the Great Reset, it will be a very bleak indeed. <laughs>